9 a.m. Um, tell us how you met these uh, fine folks that you're traveling with this morning. Uh, well, I, I met Lex on, on a tour um, probably about a year before I moved to Nashville, and, and I just knew that I wanted to make this record with him. He was one of the reasons why I moved to Nashville. Oh. <laughs> and um, and uh, Claire I met also. Well, actually, she was one of the first records I heard in, in Nashville. Um, was produced by a friend of mine named Joe McMahon, and he just gave me a couple of records just after I moved there, and, and uh, hers was one of them. And I listened to it driving to Memphis one day and fell in love with it, and, and then we met, and now she lives in Austin. She's a singer-songwriter in Austin, and uh, I convinced her to come on tour with me for this run. Well, excellent. So, leave-taking. Um, is this is a thematic record, or is this uh, one that... Um, you know, it centers on a particular song. Um, it's a kind of an interesting subject for an album. Yeah, I mean, so it's, it's very loosely thematic. I wouldn't okay. say it's. <laughs> there's so, a lot of songs about leaving and loss, and lots. There's some love songs on there too, but I think that uh, something about that word just resonates with me in, in a strange longing kind of way, kind of old sort of longing kind of way that you hear and a lot of old folk songs that so, some of the tunes on this record, I, I feel like I was trying to capture that in my own my own spin on it. Well, have you been listening to, you know, folk music as part of uh, writing these I always songs? have. I mean, always a lot of folk and a lot of pop at the same time, and rock, so it's sort of a, sort of a mixture. I don't really know. So, what's, so what's in the CD player these days? Um, well, let's see. Um, or the iPod. <laughs> or the iPod, even better. Uh, I've been listening. I'm sure you know this this band, that one guy, Boney Fair. Mm -hmm. Um I got to hear him in Nashville. It was pretty awesome. So I, that's the latest thing that's in there. So, you know, we've been playing uh, Skinny Love. You got some other tracks to recommend to us? Um, Stax. I think it's called Stax. It's, to all I know, it's track number nine. Okay, it's we'll check it out. One, yeah. We'll check it out. Peter Bradley Adams is my guest this morning. Uh, he's got uh, some friends here with him, Lex and Claire. They're all going to be playing tonight at the Gravity Lounge at 7.30. That's when music starts. And you got another song for us? Yeah, this, is, this one's called uh, I'll Forget You.
space around me grows I need the touch of your skin So I wear this ring of gold Till I forget you WNRN, Peter Bradley Adams, along with Lex Price and Claire Small in the WNRN studios. They are playing tonight at the Gravity Lounge. Music starts at 7.30. Local artist Robin Wynn will also be there as well. Glad to have Peter back in the WNRN studios. And we're talking about the new album, Leave Taking, that uh, is out this month. And um, I had a chance to kind of visit with this album um, over this past weekend um, it's quiet. It is. I'm going to make a lot of noise on the next one. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm going to tear it up. <laughs> yeah, there was actually some, some louder stuff on there that was left off. It, 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 I cut it down to nine songs. It, there was a few more that were mixed, but they just didn't want to be on there, so left them off. Um, so, well... It, so I guess you already have material for, you know, the next release, if you have... There's some stuff brewing, yeah. Definitely. Well, do you have... Do you, like... Uh, have some songs that you've been, you know, maybe even five years ago wrote and they just haven't found the right project to fit into yet? Sometimes, or they haven't found the right chorus, or... <laughs> oh, okay, they're just not even complete or, yet. Yeah, yeah, first three just is really lame and you got to fix it or something. I don't know, it's it's crazy. I have, I have, I feel like I always have songs that I'm wrestling to the ground at all times, just bugging me, not finished. Well, do you do you have people who help you finish songs, or do you? Are I've you, done uh, a little bit, and I haven't gotten into the full-on Nashville co-writing thing, but I, but I have done some co-writing, um, just 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 a few. Yeah, folks. Well, was it interesting to to talk to um, some people about, you know, this? I know the person who will help me finish the song. I have to get them to. I have to get this song to them, and and uh, you know, hopefully it works out. But um, so tell us a little bit about uh, your songwriting. I mean, when people talk about the gather up album they talk a lot about your piano playing and here you are playing a guitar D do do both instruments play into your songwriting or do you seek out one instrument when you got this idea and the other for um yeah i mean i'm i'm a piano player that's really what i do but i've just end up writing a lot on the guitar and i don't know why i mean also i think partly it's, if you're traveling around playing music it just sounds better to be playing a guitar and not a not a digital keyboard and um I don't know how it happened, it did, but I am playing a little bit more guitar. I do, I do have a keyboard with me, um, and it's part of the set. And there is piano on the record, but for some reason, uh, at least this tour has been a little more guitar centric. Well, I think we talked about last time uh, that you have a you have a grand piano. I do. Yeah. How how'd you how'd that go moving that from L.A. to Nashville? Well, it's got some nicks and dings in it, but you know, you just it, yeah. It's uh, it's been across country a couple of times, and and you know, does it wear well? I don't, I don't. I mean, I imagine if it's a grand piano, it's probably made pretty well. Yeah, well, I mean, you have to. You, you there's ways. There's very specific ways you move it. You have to strap it onto a piano board, and and I would get piano movers to get it from where it's sitting to the truck, and then. Um, so yeah, you you can't just move it yourself. Okay, it's a little. <laughs> <laughs> That's a grand undertaking in yeah. more ways than one.